Today is March the 21st, and that makes it World Down Syndrome Day. And today, across the globe, people don odd socks to commemorate and celebrate those with Down Syndrome and all the work that has been and is being done all around the world. And so I thought it would be interesting to take a brief look at the history of the term Down Syndrome. Where did it come from? Well, we can trace its origins back to the 1860s with a man named John Langdon Down. At that time, Down Syndrome was referred to scientifically as Mongolism. I think we can all understand the severe issues with this title. John Langdon Down did innovative work in living with, supporting and researching those with Downs during the Victorian period. And he pioneered a medical model that would encourage, support and enable them. He trained carers and therapists into positions that did not yet exist, like speech therapists and specialist teachers. He catalyzed great reforms that had effects worldwide. He and his wife Mary set up a centre where handicapped children, those with learning difficulties and with Downs, could live, work and thrive. About a hundred years after his research was first published, the World Health Organization confirmed that the title would be taken from Mongolism and changed into Down Syndrome a much more dignified and effective title. Throughout the years, people with Down syndrome have done incredible things. Think about all the actors and athletes and models. The work of those who love and support those with Down syndrome constantly charts new ways to create a world environment where they can truly flourish. So for today, go throw in some odd socks if you haven't already.